A cooling tower is an essential piece of equipment in many production facilities, used to bring down the temperature of the water, used in many different processes so it can be used again. The hot water would normally arrive from a jacketed tank, reactor, or other equipment to the tower. In the case of our calculator, the inlet is placed at the bottom. This water is continuously recirculated using a centrifugal pump which moves the water through nozzles in order to increase the surface area available for heat transfer. At the same time, a fan, in this case located at the top of the tower, moves fresh air which comes into contact with the hot water. During this contact, part of the water will evaporate. As this evaporation needs energy, the temperature of the water decreases and that of the air increases. The treated water can now be used again for any cooling process needed. In the design of a cooling tower, many parameters intervene, and it is normally a lengthy and complex process. At Better Engineers, we have created this calculator so you can enter the data and focus on the results. To use it, you need to enter the following values. Liquid to gas ratio. This value is basically the amount of water entering the tower, divided by the amount of air circulating through the system, both expressed as mass flow rate. Altitude. This value needs to be entered in meters, and, as you already know, is the height above sea level at which the tower is operating. Inlet air temperature is the temperature of the fresh air used for cooling purposes. It has to be input in centigrade. Inlet air relative humidity ratio. This value is normally expressed in percentage, but here needs to be input as a ratio. If you have a relative humidity of 80%, you should enter 0.8. Hot water temperature, expressed in centigrade, is the temperature of the water being fed to the tower to be treated. The capacity of the tower, in cubic meters per hour, is the amount of water at the inlet of the tower. Cold water temperature, in centigrade, refers to the water at the outlet of the tower, ready to be reused in your process. The last parameter is the relative humidity ratio, or the hot air, also in centigrade, and needs to be input in a ratio format, and not percentage. Please note that all the boxes have set values, which can be changed by clicking on them. Once you have input all this information, click on the Calculate button. The calculator will instantly take you to the results page where several parameters are reported. We will explain the more important ones. If you have any questions, please contact us on info at better-engineers.com. The range is a common unit used in cooling tower sizing, which is basically the difference between the hot water temperature and the cold water temperature. A high cooling tower range means that the cooling tower has been able to reduce the water temperature effectively. Approach. The approach is the difference in temperature of outlet to cold water and ambient air wet bulb temperature. The lower the approach, the better the cooling tower performance. Tower efficiency, expressed in percentage. In simple terms, this number tells us how much of the ideal cooling is actually achieved in the proposed tower. More technically, it is equal to the range divided by the range plus approach. Tower effectiveness, also in percentage, is the ratio of the range to the difference between the temperature of the hot water and the inlet air temperature. In other words, this tells us how well the cooling tower did in terms of using the delta available for cooling. KAV over L is a solution to the Merkel equation shown on the screen. This results as, you may already know, the total area under the curve shown. The equation basically says that, at any point in the tower, heat and vapor are transferred into the air, due, approximately, to the difference in the enthalpy of the air at the surface of the water and the main stream of the air. Constant related to the tower design is a constant which depends strongly on the liquid to gas ratio chosen and the specific design conditions of the tower. To understand this number in more detail and the ins and outs of cooling towers, we advise a more in-depth study of their design. As this is not the purpose of this video, we cannot explain this area any further. We hope you find this piece of software useful, and please let us know of any improvement you would make to the calculator, or any feedback, on the comments section. Do share our magazine with your colleagues and friends. Better Engineers. Passion for Technology.